awards are prestigious scholarships awarded by the Australian Government to outstanding individuals. This year has offered some 4,450 long and short term scholarships to recipients from 117 countries. You have made our institutions and our country richer for your presence. Many of them are accomplished professionals already in their lives when they come to us and they add that dynamic to our classrooms. I'm from the most unprivileged province of my country and I got this opportunity after trying three years continuously and it's I think lifetime opportunity for me. This scholarship program means a big opportunity for aspiring individuals like me who wants to see the world, develop a network and come back to my country and make impact. It's set my future career so that I can use all this knowledge and experience to uh, continue all my reason by developing, contributing to the community and as much as possible. My very last PhD student was a Vietnamese man from the mountains near the Chinese border, Chu Vang Hong. The night he was submitting his PhD, he asked me to proofread his uh, acknowledgements, which was fair enough given English was his tenth language. He was writing his acknowledgements and he thanked his parents for waking him up at half past four every morning to walk to school. He was the first boy in his village to get to high school. And I said, oh, how long did it take? And he said, well, it was usually only three and a half hours. But during the war, there was a bit longer. There was all these landmines. There was exploded buffalo. There was all kinds of things. And I had to get a stick sometime to pull myself through the mud. Education was the important thing for him. And what an inspiration. As a common Bhutanese from a rural background, my parents valued education, even when the means were limited. I completed my year 10 with just a single dress and without the shoes on my feet. It is the friendship between the government of Bhutan and Australia that I have been able to achieve my dreams. Australia will always be my second country and will always be close to my heart. That you are the one that can control your destiny. You are the one that can change the future of yourself, your country, your surrounding, and whether it is small contribution, it is still big in the realm of our world. If you think you are too small to be effective, you have never been in bed with a mosquito. Never give up, like I never gave up. I tried three times and finally I got the opportunity. To the Australian government, I would say thank you. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity for people like me, that we can develop our skill and learn new things.